Sir, I think we've found the perfect planet. Okay, great. So we can finally find a place to send my son. What's the planet's name? Sir, it's... Jama. Hmm. That sounds very familiar. Yes, Dr. Zayos. It seems like one of the planets that we have created ourselves. Does it have any inhabitants on it? Yes, sir, it does. It even has phantoms on it. Phantoms. Really? Lucas, I know you're too young to understand this, but my son has to go to this planet. Jamal, the place that we created, is now filled with phantoms. We must heal them. We must heal the animals that have suffered because of our creation. We must do something about it. And my son is the only one who can save it. I think my son deserves a chance. I know this sounds really ridiculous, but I'm going to give him my quantum stone. But sir, you can't do that. It's the only thing that's saving our race. Lucas, we don't have a race anymore. Only ten of us remain on this spaceship. And we're not going to survive for too long, judging by our food resources left. Our son is the only one who's going to continue our race. He can even save the animals on that planet. So I think we should give him a chance. I'm going to do it. Sir, don't take it off. I'm sorry about this. Lucas, you're my assistant. You must obey my orders or you will be detained. But sir, do as I say. Send the kid to the planet in the mechanical shell that he's in. He's going to wake up and he's going to remember everything. Send along with him my quantum stone and the book of knowledge. The book of knowledge is of no use to any of us anymore. We can't reproduce anymore because our factories are gone. My son is the only one left who can continue this race, and the book of knowledge will help him do that. I hope you understand. This is not my request, but my command, and must be followed. I hope you understand. Now do as I say. Send the kid to the planet. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Father? Father? Where are you? Where am I? Huh? Is this the book of knowledge? Why do I have it? Hmm, that's weird. Oh my god, is this the quantum stone? Why do I have it? Why am I wearing it? I must read this letter for my father. It seems as if he sent me a letter and he sent me on this planet along with his quantum stone because I was the only one left to continue this race and I have to save the people on this planet as well. So many responsibilities. I'm really gonna miss home. Oh, look, somebody's coming. Hello. You don't look quite normal, do you? Um, yeah. Um, I'm... Mark. Nice to meet you. Hello there. I'm Dr. Herbert. Nice to meet you. Do you need anything? Um, well, yeah. I'm stranded and I need to find a home. Um, okay then. We'll have a small talk. And you can tell me everything. About yourself. Because... I see what you have with you. But sir... Just come along with me. Look, a long time ago, I met your father. I know him well. And you look just like him. Hmm. Anyways, 
show me that book. Yes, I remember this very well. Your father himself wrote this book. It holds all the secrets of our race. Well, not ours, more like yours. I used to be a part of your race. Then what happened to you? Well, it's a long story. We'll leave that for some other day. I think it's my duty to serve you here. And for what reason have you come here? I let the letter that my father sent me, and he told me I'm here to save this planet and continue our race. So your father is dead, I suppose. Yes, I do think so. Well, I can help you fulfill your mission. Look, the stone that you have there, that is no normal stone. That is the quantum stone. That is one of the most powerful things in the entire universe. It has the power to convert mass into energy and energy to mass, which means that you can create matter out of thin air. You heard me right, you can do that. I can? Well, yeah. The thing is, that it'll take you years and years of training. But that is exactly why your father sent the Book of Knowledge. Inside the Book of Knowledge is the skill and the power to train you. And I think I can take the responsibility of training you. So, are you ready for this? Well, not really. But, okay. Okay, the first thing I'm going to teach you is the easiest one. You can convert from one animal to another on this planet. All you have to do is feed the quantum stone with that information. And for that, you need the DNA of something. For example, on these test tubes here, I have the samples of all the animals in Jama. How did I get it? Do not ask me. Well, in these test tubes are the DNA. And all you have to do is insert the DNA inside the quantum store. And you will be able to switch into anything. Alright. Just give me a minute and I'm going to put all the DNA inside the quantum stone. Okay, so now that that's done, try thinking of changing into some animal. It, it worked. Yes, it did. Very good. So next I'm going to teach you 